Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How can I look at SSL traces and make sure the Cypher suites and SSL protocols match between client and server for a successful one-way SSL connection? For this example, JSSC traces were gathered for the deployment manager. The JSSC call is being done when the node agent is started and connects to the deployment manager. We will be performing a one-way SSL connection. Please refer to the comments section for a link directly to the JSSC must gather. Important, you must determine who the client and server are for your SSL call. In this case, the client is node agent. The server is deployment manager. For this example, I pulled only the thread of interest Thread ID 55. Here is the information for the remote host and port. For this example, it is the node agent. Important, if you do not see this information in the trace, that indicates that the call is being made without the WebSphere SSL socket factory. Write down the path of the key store and trust store so that in case there are any certificate issues, we know where to add the certificate. Key store location. Trust store location. Here we see client hello. The client node agent sends the server DMGR its information, including the highest version of SSL protocol and list of Cypher suites it supports. The Cypher suite information includes cryptographic algorithms and key sizes. We can see the client hello is using protocol TLS B1.2. List of Cypher suites available for the node agent. Certificate signature algorithms that the client will accept. Server hello. The server chooses the highest version of SSL protocol and best Cypher suite to use that both the client and server support. Server hello is performed using TLS v1.2 for the deployment manager. The deployment manager selects Cypher suite that matches. The server sends the client a certificate chain. A certificate chain typically begins with the server's public key certificate and ends with the certificate authority's root certificate. The certificate chain is sent. The following message will be displayed, server hello done. If any errors were received regarding the SSL protocol or the Cypher suites not matching, you can check the following section in the solutions console. Log in with your credentials. Expand security. Click SSL certificate and key management. Click SSL configurations. The DMGR uses cell default SSL settings unless customized. Click cell default SSL settings. Click quality and protection QOP settings. Notice my cell default SSL settings protocol is set to SSL underscore TLS v2. This will use TLS v1.2 in this case, but also allows TLS v1.1 and TLS v1.0. Here is the list of Cypher suites that DMGR can choose from. Click SSL configurations. The node agent uses the node default SSL settings if not customized. Click node default SSL settings. Click quality of protection QOP settings. Notice the node default SSL settings is set to SSL underscore TLS v2 and will use TLS v1.2 but can also accept TLS v1.1 and TLS v1.0. Here is the list of ciphers. The one-way SSL connection was successful in our case because the protocols and ciphers matched between the DMGR and node agent. If there is a mismatch, this is the area where the problem can be fixed. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.